Uh, in this video, I'm going to uh, show you a project which I saw online. Basically, it is about implementing a stop stop clock or stopwatch um, on an FPGA. The code is supposed to be written in VHDL. You can see the uh, FPGA board in this picture and uh, uh, and the uh, specifications of the stop clock. Uh, basically, it has uh, uh, the LED shown. Um, there with the hundreds of seconds, seconds and minutes, and then uh, a few bunch of uh, buttons to start the count, clear the count, or the watch rather, uh, and then uh, we have uh, some other LEDs switches which indicate the status. I'll go through the requirements. Uh, you can you can see the board also. Uh, specified the D0 nano board from Terrasic. Uh, actually I uh, have D1 board, I don't have D0. D1 is a, is a, a later version of the board or the new version of this board with a uh, high capacity FPGA and other modifications. You can see the specifications but both the boards look pretty much similar. I will show uh, my board also and uh, how I have implemented the uh, stopwatch uh, on this board. Um, basically for this project both the boards look uh, similar because we are worried only about the switches, buttons and the LEDs um, which are same on both the boards. Uh, so I will uh, straight away jump into, into uh, uh, my implementation of the project. And I'll show uh, how it is working. So this is the board. I just have uh, uh, downloaded the code into the FPGA. Uh, and that's why you can see the LED is glowing here. The default values of the LED is 000, which means uh, uh, this is hundred. These two digits count hundreds of seconds. Uh, rather. Uh, in milliseconds so this is 0.1 second and this is 0 0.01 second and uh, this uh, the third digit here is the seconds and uh, this is the tenths of seconds this is minutes and uh, tenths of minutes uh, and, and we have uh, a lot of switches here we don't use all these switches you can go back uh, um, and uh, see the specifications in the video, uh, uh, beginning of the video rather, where I have shown the uh, picture of the specifications. Uh, basically, this, this switch here is the uh, reset switch to uh, switch on and off uh, the entire logic. So I can show how it is working here. Right now it is uh, uh, out of reset, that's why you have the display here, all zeros, and I'll put it into reset. Uh, everything uh, uh, switches off. So that's it uh, for the reset. Nothing fancy about it. And then we have a couple of uh, switches here the SW6 and 5 switches, these two switches, which indicate the um, last few, uh, last six digits of the student. Um, ID. Uh, basically, it is uh, proof that the um, code is really uh, written or at least touched by the student. So the student has to include their uh, ID in the uh, in the VSDL code and then port it onto the FPG so that it is unique. Uh, basically, I have used a couple of uh, um, sequential numbers: one, two, three, four, five, six for student ID one and 789012 for uh, student 82 so whenever uh, this switch is uh, um, pushed towards the board uh, the student uh, the, this switch is one when it is pushed away from the uh, edge of the board or towards the middle of the board and when it is uh, pushed towards the edge of the board the switch will be in uh, zero state so when we push it towards the board it is one, two, three, four, five, six, showing uh, the 
ID of the uh, last six digits of the ID of the student. Um, uh, pretty much the same for the uh, other switch also. Uh, with the first switch having the priority, it always shows the student ID one. And if I switch this one off and this one one, uh, now it shows the uh, ID of the student two, which is seven eight nine zero one two. And uh, if I switch this back to off state, now it shows the counter. Right now it is it's not running. The counter is not running, or the stop clock is not running. So it's still showing zero zero zero. So to switch on the uh, stop clock, we have to uh, press this button here. I'm sorry, this button here. These three buttons are used. This the fourth button is unused in this project. So this button, if we uh, press, it will start. And for the second press, it will stop. Basically, for odd number of presses, it will uh, keep incrementing, and for uh, even number of presses, it will stop. So when I press for the first time, it keeps incrementing. You can see that these two are the milliseconds, this is seconds, and this is uh, minutes. So just to prove the point, when I click for the second time. The uh, stopwatch has really stopped. I can do this any number of times and it keeps working. You can see that. Uh, and, and to um, go back to the functionality of this IDs here, even if the clock is running, if I push the uh, um, switch 6 here, which is uh, ID of the student 1. Uh, it shows the ID of the student one. Go back to the clock, it's still uh, running. And then if I switch the ID of the uh, second student, it shows the ID of the second student. Uh, and just notice that the LED here, little blinking LED there, that keeps blinking as long as the uh, timer is running. Uh, so if I stop the timer or the clock, that blinking LED here, Will also stop blinking and it will be in on state always so when I go back to the run mode it starts blinking again um, and there is uh, one more feature which is the uh, clearing of that counter or the uh, stop clock that is done by uh, this switch here um, towards the edge of the board if I clear the counter that LED will, this LED will uh, stop glowing as well as the count will get reset. You can see that the LED is not glowing and the count is already reset. Um, what else? There is one more button here which is um, a lap or a split time um, latching button and then uh, an associated uh, um, switch is here which which indicates lap or split mode. If it is towards the edge of the board, it is in lap mode. Towards uh, the middle of the board, it is in split mode. And uh, in association with the lap or split time button, um, we can have few combinations. I'll show it. Right now, uh, it is in lap mode. And let's uh, start the counter running. Now, uh, assume that uh, lap is finished. And we want to see what is the uh, time that the uh, person or the car or somebody who, who is doing the lap, um, what is the timing of that uh, person or entity uh, for the lap, then you can press this button here. It is in lap mode and if you press this button, it has latched the time here. It's showing 2881. It will be there for uh, uh, around six seconds. So the, uh, I'm sorry, uh, this is in uh, lap mode, so it, it, it will be there uh, till the time we press this um, lap time button for the even number of times. So for odd number of times, it will uh, latch the time and keep showing the time. And uh, when we press it for uh, the even number of times, it will, uh, sorry, for the odd number of times, it will um, go the, the LED, uh, the uh, timer will, will come back and uh, you can see the time running. 
Uh, meanwhile, in the background, you can see the LED uh, keep glowing, which means that in the background, the timer is still running, and this LED here is glowing, which is indicating that the current time, which is uh, shown, um, is uh, is the lag time. It's not the stop clock time. So to go back to the stop clock uh, display, you just have to press it for the given number of times, and there it goes. Uh, it's still running in the background. Try it one more time. It works. So that that's for the uh, lap mode and uh, lap time. The last feature is the uh, split mode and the uh, split time. Uh, in the split mode, I just uh, press the uh, switch towards the middle of the board. It is in split mode. In split mode, if we press this uh, split time button, a new counter will start and uh, start. Um, timing the uh, new lap or the it's it's a basically a new counter which will um, which will be used to measure the timing of each lap, not just the uh, time at which a lap is finished, which is which can be done by the um, lap mode which we saw just now. So in this mode, if I uh, I'll demonstrate what it means if I press this one. You can see that the counter has restarted from zero. Basically, this this is a new counter, and the original counter, the stopwatch, is still running, indicated by this LED glowing uh, or blinking LED. And uh, th this new blinking LED here right now, you can see it uh, blinking right at a far lesser rate than this one. This this is blinking at uh, around five hertz, and this is blinking at around one hertz. Um, so th this indicates that the current um, display here is for uh, split mode. It's not the uh, usual stop mode timer, stop clock timer. Um, to go back to the uh, display of the uh, original stop clock, if we press it for the even number of times, it goes back to the um, uh, stop clock. But before going back, it will display the the uh, current split time for around six seconds and then it goes back to the uh, uh, stop stopwatch display i can demonstrate that for you you can see that it, it's it, we just pressed it at around that time and it this time will be there for around six seconds and then it goes back to the original stop clock and you can see that that led is still blinking now one more feature here is that if it is in uh, split mode we can start or stop the uh, original timer so which can be indicated we can't see the original timer running uh, on this displays but we can see the led glowing the led status indicates that and if i stop uh, the original timer it is in stop mode which is indicated by the uh, led glowing continuously uh, um, without blinking uh, i can do it any number of times basically uh, and if I uh, ultimately go back to the timer of, after 6 seconds it will display the uh, uh, timer which right now is in stop mode uh, so the uh, stop stop watch time will also be stopped it won't be running and if I click it again it will keep running one more feature is this there is this clear which will uh, not clear the uh, running timer I can click it in number of times but it will never uh, clear the timer unless the timer is stopped. If I stop it and I clear it, it just goes like that. But the, this this clear can clear uh, a running uh, running uh, split mode timer. This is a split mode timer running and it can clear it. Right now we went back to the um, uh, display of the uh, stopwatch because we have just cleared the split mode uh, timer. I think I have covered all the features here. I don't think I missed any feature. I think I have covered um, all. So if you have any questions or if you want the source code for this, um, feel free to uh, uh, send me a message on YouTube. Uh, any other questions, any other feedback is all welcome. Thank you.